Hey guys, it's Harrison and Evan from the Wildlife Brothers, and today we're at one of our favorite local ponds looking for any aquatic species that we can find. Now a few days ago, we came across one of our favorite unusual species out here that we've never gotten to show you guys before. It's actually the first fish species that we've been able to feature on the channel, so we hope you guys are ready to meet the American eel. Let's take a look. Now this guy here is the American eel, and we're really excited to be able to show this species to you guys because it is pretty rare that we come across them here in the park. Now this is one of the most widespread eel species that we get here in the Americas. They will reach as far north as Greenland and as far south as South America, which means that they're going to be inhabiting a wide range of ecosystems but their favorite ecosystem to inhabit is actually freshwater, muddy-bottomed creeks and rivers, which is exactly where we found this guy. Now, they do like that kind of ecosystem because they hunt in the mud, and there's plenty of that there for them to find food, and there's also shelter for them in the form of rocks. Now, one thing that's really interesting about these guys is that they're actually what's called catadromous. That means that they spend most of their life cycle in freshwater, but they will move into saltwater ecosystems to breed. Now, another thing that is really cool about these guys is that their conservation status is currently unknown. The IUCN does actually not have a classification for these guys at this time. We simply don't know enough about them which is why it's so important for scientists to continue to study these guys in the wild so that we can learn a little more about them and how they interact with their ecosystem. Now, the American eel is one of the most perfectly adapted predators we have out here in Pennsylvania. Now, this guy will be patrolling the muddy bottom of the rivers and the creeks that we find these guys in, looking for all sorts of different kinds of prey. One of their favorites is actually small fish that they can find out here in the environment, and they also love to eat invertebrates. These guys will sift through the mud, looking for just about anything they can find. Now, unfortunately, when they do that, the bottom can get quite muddy. But luckily, these guys do not rely on their sense of sight or hearing. Their most powerful sense, by far, is their sense of smell. These guys have very, very acute senses of smell, and that allows them to search out all different kinds of prey in their environment. Now, one of the things that allows these guys to actually chase down their prey and move through the environment is that extremely long dorsal fin. Take a look at that. It actually runs from right behind his head all the way down to his tail there. Now, we're gonna get you some really cool shots of that, but you can see just how long that dorsal fin is and he has that rudder-like tail right there. You guys can see that? Check that out. Absolutely perfect. And now one thing we wanted to mention, it's a little bit windy here, guys, but we're gonna make this work. One thing we wanted to mention about this species is that they can actually stay out of the water for over 15 minutes at a time. So us taking a look at this guy out of the water like this is not going to harm him in any way whatsoever. One of the cool things this species will do is it will actually walk itself over land from one pocket of water to the other. And that is something we would love to get on video for you guys, but these guys are mostly nocturnal, which means they are active at night. So this behavior is very difficult to get on camera. So we had a ton of fun taking a look at the American eel. Now we're gonna show you guys the release here. This guy has definitely earned it. So let's get him back into the environment. Come with me, check this out. You guys have seen how incredible they are as swimmers. And off he goes. We hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit about the American eel. It's actually been a goal of ours to film a fish species for the channel for a long time now, so we're happy that that finally came to fruition. And let us know in the comments down below if you'd like seeing episodes about fish. We actually have plans to film a lot more fish species in our area later this summer, so definitely let us know your thoughts. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of awesome plans coming up this summer, and we definitely want all of you guys to be involved. Your support means everything to us, and we couldn't do it without you. So we'll see you guys in the next video.